What's up love and welcome back to my channel. I am Vazi and if you are new here, welcome, welcome and thanks so much for being here. If you are new here, welcome back and what's poppin' sis? Um, today's video is going to be a little different than normal. Um, normally here on my channel I'm posting natural hair content and some entrepreneurial vlogs. But today we are going to be talking about homeschooling, okay? Um, as many of you guys know, I am a mother of three beautiful princesses. And yeah, this school year we are doing homeschool. Now, last school year we were doing school from home, but it was drastically different because it was virtual learning whereas this year it's literally homeschool okay and with that came a lot of responsibilities that I was kind of unsure of in the beginning but you know we're working through those things so quick disclaimer if you hear the kids in the background they're doing yoga in the living room and as you can see I'm in my room so bear with me so the first thing we're going to be talking about is the preparation. So in order to get ready for um, this homeschool year, we did have to rearrange quite a few things in our living and dining room area so that you know we could have a learning and workspace combined. With that came some sorting, some deep cleaning, some donating, throwing away. Like we literally went through a lot of almost everything in the house <laughs> um, in order to achieve the desired look. Um, last semester, well, last school year, we were homeschooling in the same area that you guys are seeing now. However, um, we had things set up a little differently. My workstation was still where it is. It was probably shifted over a little bit. It was definitely shifted over a little bit, but whenever the kids uh, would do their homeschooling, it would be right next to me. So there was like no space. As you can see, we included some space in between the both of us so that way um, you know it could kind of feel like we were in two different workspaces even though we're in the same space literally uh, um, sounds like they're having an amazing time doing this yoga um, they're doing cosmic yoga so if anybody is interested in trying to keep their their kids active definitely check out uh, cosmic yoga my bad cosmic yoga here on YouTube it's amazing um, and then we also do other workouts but that's besides the point right now we're talking about preparation okay so um, yes we went through a lot of things we separated our our tables and in the middle I um, included what is my cosmetics work bin um, that has different things inside of each drawer but the printer is sitting on top so anytime I have to print off any information for me or for them it's easy for either of us to you know just grab it and use it all right guys so this is what we came up with as far as station areas goes um, never mind the mess because we are currently working this is my area still working on like I know I want to put a clock here because we definitely need a clock in here um, but I'm not really 100% sure what I'm put in this area or even on my cork board just yet but I'm working on that they're more important so over here you see that we do have their map up there I'm thinking of probably putting something above that just to kind of like mm, I don't know judge it up a bit we have a board here that I'm gonna eventually get a bigger one because that was so small you guys um, and you're in, in class turn around um, oh, she's not saying anything. She's like, you know how you were talking about metals she said that if we could if we could do any small we, we uh, which would you choose? I chose soccer. You chose soccer? I chose swim. <laughs> hmm. Um, but yeah, so actually what we decided to do over here was move things around. I moved my um, cosmetics rack from over here to over there. And also the deep freezer is over there as well now. So that way this area could be for a car. Um, now this ain't perfect, but it's worth it, okay? <laughs> um, so this is her learning wall. I'm still going to add something in that area, um, which might be moving her ABCs from there to there because I kind of had to rig that. I had the ABCs on a poster like that one up there, but as you can tell, we ran out of space. So we're working with the space we got. So this is her workstation. Um, and then, of course, the table has been moved over here that has the Cricut and the press machine on it and all of that. So yeah, this is what our homeschool setup is looking like right now. Um, like I said, it's not perfect, but 
done is better than perfect, so. We're gonna be working on um, adding some more things in and updating you guys along the way. So yeah, we went through, we deep cleaned, we separated, we did that um, pretty much all in one day as far as like the cleaning and sorting went. I did have to end up going back a couple days afterwards just to restructure some things or sort some things pretty much. We are working with a very small space so we use a lot of bins um, underneath the tables, storage bins and things like that so I did end up having to go back to the store to get some more storage bins and honestly I still need to get a few more. So did that and then we shifted over into homeschooling so let's now okay let's talk about the actual homeschooling process all right so it says essential question where do good ideas come from remember that is the essential question for this unit all right So it says, in the story of the princess and the pizza, the main character shows us one way a good idea can develop. Sometimes we don't think of ideas. Instead, they seem to come out of nowhere. Paulina does not think of the idea for pizza. She stumbles upon it when forced to use leftover ingredients. Well, let's just talk about the first week, you guys. It was hell. Oh my goodness. So we ran into a couple of issues the first week. Um, first thing being their Chromebooks that we had ordered weren't even compatible with the homeschooling system. I'm not exactly sure on all the details, but I know for sure that they were able to log into the school system and get on live lessons, however, which are basically like Zooms, you know? literally what it sounds like a live lesson where the teacher is teaching and then after that they would hop out and hop into their actual schoolwork but that's when we ran into the problem the Chromebooks would not pull up any of the information that they needed and I literally was not told this before the first day of school so it Okay, my bad guys, my memory card got full. But like I was saying, um, when the Chromebooks wouldn't work, literally drove me insane because the first day was already hectic enough trying to understand, you know, the process of things and get readjusted to a new routine. And yeah, so we ran into that issue. But luckily enough, we were able to get their Chromebooks switched out for um, some HPs that actually are compatible with their school system. So yeah, that was the first day, which kind of put us behind in our lessons because we were trying to figure out what was wrong with their Chromebooks and then once I got in contact with IT and they told me that Chromebooks aren't compatible, we then reverted to them using my Mac and one of my HPs. So um, luckily enough, we did have some backup laptops, but you know, we got that situation squared away. So that's freaking amazing. Um, and then, so <laughs> pretty much after that throughout the week, it was just like a little bit more of a struggle because like I said, we got pushed back in our lessons and we were trying to figure things out. I was learning while they were learning. Okay, because listen to me, when I say that things are different this year, I literally mean that. Last year was virtual learning, this year is homeschooling and I am their learning coach. I was not aware, you know, really what a learning coach consisted of, but at the end of the day, when it comes to what's best for my babies, I'm 10 toes deep and I'm diving head first, okay? So, came to found out that pretty much I was the teacher. Yes, they do have teachers. However, those teachers only do home, I mean, the live lesson um, assignments. So, like, at a certain time on a certain day, they'll have a social studies live lesson, a math, a science, a language arts, you know what I'm saying? So they'll log in and be able to talk to the teacher and all that good stuff and learn while they're on this live lesson with their teacher. However, I am totally and solely in control of making sure that we go through each lesson. I'm reading the lessons off to them. They're interacting, participating well. Um, they're understanding what's going on. We're going through simple problems, working with graphs and things of that nature. And then when they're done, they take an assessment at the end and I am the one who has to approve once they say that their lesson is complete, they'll mark the lesson complete and then it is totally up to me to go back and approve those lessons in order for the teacher to grade them so extensive but 
worth it. I actually, you guys, I enjoy. I enjoyed doing it. Once the first week was pretty much tackled and we had a better understanding of how things were happening and how things worked, it was easier for me to create that new routine that we needed, structure things in the way that we needed them to happen because mind you, I am an entrepreneur so I still need to do work for myself at home and I just had to figure out that work-life balance, mommy homeschooling balance and then you know taking care of the household wife in and all kinds of other things so it took a minute it was a little hectic probably a little nerve-wracking but for all of us for that matter but we figured it out and we love it you know we love it here so that's pretty much that on the twins is homeschooling goes now Akari I am also homeschooling her as well but I am going to do a completely separate video dedicated to Akari because you know things are different with her okay she's not technically in a school system so it's up to me to come up with her curriculum and things of that nature um, and if you are interested in a homeschooling program for your toddler definitely make sure you like this video comment down below and let me know that you're interested and subscribe to the channel and make sure your bell notifications are cut on so that you don't miss when I post that video they're doing yard work outside y'all I'm sick of this <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, that pretty much concludes this video. That was our homeschool prep, how things went the very first week. And I'm about to wrap this video up. You guys, I love you so much, and thanks so much for tuning in. This is crazy. Oh my gosh, I hope y'all can hear me. I love you so much, and until next time, remember to love yourself wholeheartedly, radiate with positivity, and vibrate at your highest frequency because you are worth it, boo. Much love, fam.